Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing an updated 2024 presidential election prediction between Republican Governor from Florida Ron DeSantis and President of the United States Joe Biden. So with that said, I'm going to start on the East Coast and work my way west. The state of Maine, I'm going to start off by giving Joe Biden in the likely column. I think Joe Biden will win the state by about 8 or 9 points or so. Maine's 1st District will go safe Republican, or safe Democrat, excuse me. And Ron DeSantis, I think, will narrowly win Maine's second district somewhere in the probably lean three to four points margin. Next, we have the state of New Hampshire, where I think Ron DeSantis will do better than Donald Trump in New Hampshire. However, I do still think Joe Biden will win the state by about four or five percentage points, so a little bit closer, just enough to put it in lean, but Biden will win it nonetheless. The state of Vermont will go safe for Joe Biden, as will the state of Massachusetts. The state of Connecticut and Rhode Island will go safe Democrat as well. Next, the state of New York will go safe for Joe Biden, as will the state of New Jersey and the state of Delaware, Maryland, and the District of Columbia, that getting Joe Biden to 90 electoral votes. The state of Pennsylvania, I'm going to put in the pure battleground uh, column because I do want to go back to that state. The state of Ohio, I think, will go more than 10 points for Ron DeSantis, making that safe. I think the state of Indiana will also go safe for DeSantis, as will Kentucky and West Virginia. I think the state of Virginia, the governor's race in 2021 is looking like it'll be very close, but at the presidential level, I still think a win between 5 to 9 percentage points is in the realm for Joe Biden. I think that in a national presidential election, Virginia will go back to voting for a Democrat. The state of North Carolina... I'm tempted to put in the battleground column, but I think given Biden's popularity, I'm comfortable enough putting North Carolina in lean for now. The state of Tennessee, I think, goes safe for DeSantis, as does the state of South Carolina. The state of Georgia, I think, is in the pure battleground column, I think, for sure. The state of Florida, I think that uh, Ron DeSantis is doing very well in the state of Florida, but given that it's a national election, I'll put it in the lean column to start. Maybe it can go more than four or five percentage points, but I think lean is where Florida would start out. The state of Alabama will go safe for DeSantis, as will the state of Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Missouri. The state of Iowa, I think, will also go safe for Ron DeSantis. The state of Illinois will go safe for Biden. Uh, Michigan and Wisconsin will be battleground states for uh, DeSantis and Biden. The state of Minnesota, I think, starts off in the likely column for Joe Biden. Both North and South Dakota go safe for DeSantis, as does all of Nebraska. And Nebraska's second district, I think, narrowly tilts towards Ron DeSantis at this time, as he is more approved of than Donald Trump is in the state. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not in the state, in the district. Kansas and Oklahoma also go safe for DeSantis. The state of Texas, I think, starts off in the likely column. I don't think it will go back to, say, 10 points or so, but I think, it, I think between 6 or 7 points is probably where Texas will be. The state of Hawaii will be safe for Biden, and the state of Alaska will be safe for DeSantis. I think the state of New Mexico goes likely for Joe Biden, and I think the state of Colorado also goes likely for Joe Biden. The states of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah go safe for DeSantis. That gets them to 236. Arizona, I think, goes in the pure battleground column. I also think Nevada goes in the pure battleground column. Joe Biden will win the state of Washington, Oregon, and California all safe. That gets DeSantis to 236 and Biden at 225. Now, I do think from here, I do believe Ron DeSantis will be able to narrowly flip back the state of Arizona. I think he will be able to do that. I think the state of Wisconsin will also narrowly go to Ron DeSantis. I think the state of Georgia also will narrowly go to Ron DeSantis. I think the state of Nevada will narrowly go for Joe Biden. I also think the state of Michigan would narrowly go for Joe Biden. And I think the state of Pennsylvania would narrowly tilt for Ron DeSantis. So right now, if it's DeSantis versus Biden, I have DeSantis at 292, Biden at 246, with the states in tilt being the closest ones that really could go either way at this time. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you want to watch more videos like this. If you're a returning subscriber of mine, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. And again, if you're new, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.